So normally I would use positive reinforcement um, during bathing with rewards. Because Apollo is food aggressive, yes. I was not able to do rewarding outside with the baths. So I did my best to reinforce verbally to Lion um, that he was being good and it was a good situation and try not to force anything on him and reinforce him verbally. When we got inside is when he received all his rewards for taking on the bath for the first time. So I did use positive reinforcement. I just wasn't able to use it and show it throughout the bathing period. So if you notice there, I let him go when he started tugging backwards and tried to make it fun for him. This way, it wasn't a traumatizing experience. He still had the option to run away a little bit, um, but I didn't want him to get tangled up with Apollo and go into the anthill that was over there that I had just put poison in. So I still tried to reassure him and let him know that he was doing a great job and things like that. I just could not use food in this particular situation, but normally I would suggest that you use a high value reward um, if you don't have a food aggressive dog with you and start off slower than what I did. Um, I did do him just the legs the day before to get him used to the hose and rewarded that. But in this video particularly, um, I just tried to make it into a game and let him see how Apollo handled it and then um, just tried to reinforce him that way. never want to get the soap into their ears or the water into their ears. No eating it. Uh, 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 uh. I don't want him to eat this because I don't know how it'll affect his stomach since it's got I do flea and tick shampoo just in case. I do live around a lot of bushes. always want to make sure that even though they're on flea and tick meds that when they get bathed if the medicine itself is not working I have a backup shampoo on them for a minute. Sorry, don't want my butt to 
washing it off. I'm just trying to get a little bit more suds. Uh -uh, line. Good boy. This is my first time bathing lion. So this one has conditioner in it because lion's hair, I don't want it to knot up. I mean, he's looking rough compared to what his parents usually have him. But that's because we've been having a lot of rain parties. Good boys. So with him, I don't want to add too much soap. I want to get the soap that's on him through his hair. Because if you add too much soap and you don't rinse it all off, you can dry their skin out. Good boy, lion. Good boy. You got dirt from this carport all on you. I was going to say, oh no, but it's just dirt. Come on. faces I just get a washcloth and I do their faces with a washcloth I don't really like to put the shampoo unless I'm using baby tearless shampoo and that's the only time that I will do their face Lion 
like to drink the water. Make sure you got all the soap off. Lion, come. To make sure you got all the soap off, you want to still rub. not rain clouds. Hope they're just going to pass over. Lion, come. Come. Come here. Come here. Good boy. Okay, so. Get that all untied. Then I'm gonna grab their towels. Ugh. He gets nice and dry. Yes, I'm gonna get you flying. Okay, let's get lying. Let's get the puppy first. Once they're completely dry, we will come back out and do the brushing part. But I will let them completely dry first. 
Okay, hold on. This one's wet. Second towel. Hold on, line. Dog. You see the dog. also why I'm very glad my house has no carpet. <laughs> 